sign up for the trial of Builder Raw, and I sent you the three uh, courses. I gave them to you for free, even though I charged thousands for them. I'm about to put the link in the chat again for any of you that want to make some real money. I'm going to send you those courses that I charge thousands for. On top of that, I'm about to send you the bots that I'm about to show you right now in this video. So now you guys are going to get to see the power. If you do anything where you have to generate leads, if you do anything where you have to do out, uh, outreach or uh, prospecting or, or anything where it's a numbers game when you need a lot of people to view your offer or sales or something like that, then what I'm about to show you is gonna blow your mind in my styles p voice right all right so today i told you guys i was going to show you some of the softwares and the bots that we use so this is an instagram scraper right here remember i was telling you we would get all of their numbers and uh dm information and phone numbers and all of that you can search by hashtag all right you're going to put a delay in there for 10 seconds so it doesn't lock up your Instagram account. You're going to put your maximum result that you want to scrape for now. <clears throat> Let me just show you guys how it works. I'm late to actually come to the class. All right. So we'll put the hashtag realtor in there right now. And we're just going to pick the account that we're logged into. And then we're going to press start. So all of our lead scraping can be done on Sundays and all of that stuff and scheduled out. All right. <clears throat> so as you can see, is gathering all of their user information and all of that. Okay, so then once we have their DMs and all of that, watch this. This is the software that I sent you guys. Some of you guys don't know how to use it. Let me open it up. All right, so you once you downloaded it and it extracted it, you'll notice it's in the download area. It should be in the download area under this name right here. This right here, <laughs> you don't have to have this. Just keep this file keep it named this, and then you just switch it out with whatever new leads that you scraped, okay? And when you want to uh, change the message, you'll open this with a notepad, as you can see, like how I did right here. You see I'm starting on line 442. I'm going to change that to 52 so I don't send the same people the same message. And I have a 60-day, 60-second uh, delay, which I usually want to change, okay? So, um, and here is the message that's going to send in the email and in the DM as well. OK, so now I'm going to save it, <clears throat> close that out. Then I'm going to click on the application part, <clears throat> close that out. As you can see, the scraper is still running in the background. So now we're waiting for this to open up. Come on, come on, come on. OK, so I'm just going to show you guys a quick rundown because I actually have to be on the live with you guys right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So as you can see, it's opening up Instagram. Usually you would uh, log into your Instagram, but you only have to do it one time and then it will remember and log you in automatically. And then you would just come right here once you're logged in to Instagram and press enter. So now it's going to take us over to Gmail right now. Okay. Come on, speed it up, speed it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If this is too long, it won't let me upload it to freaking uh, um, StreamYard so I can show y'all. Okay. As you can see, it's going slow, slow because I'm using all these softwares at the same time. Come on, go to Gmail. Oh, I didn't even press enter. Jeez, I thought I pressed enter. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on Gmail. You log into your Gmail. Then we're just going to be able to come back down here again and press enter, enter again. So now it's gonna take it back over to Instagram and I'm gonna let it run through one sequence so you guys can see it. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It might not even freaking upload. All right, so as you can see, it's going to line 452, boom. Okay, so it's going back to Instagram. You can see it going back to Instagram right here. And it's going to open up the latest post. It's doing it by itself. As you can see, I'm not moving the mouse. I guess I sent this guy a message already before. <laughs> okay that's why you want to remember which line you're on so as you can see this can run in the background while you're doing other things all day prospecting for you generating leads for you generating sales for you so after it puts a comment on the last post it's going to open up the messenger <clears throat> excuse me watch it open up message right now look at that all right so now it's about to send them the message as you can see i got my url in there the bitly link Boom, that's going to my booking calendar. So now it's going to close this out and it's going to send them an email 
with the same message, with the same book and calendar and all of that. And it will literally just do this all day, like all day, setting appointments for you and doing all of that extra stuff. You don't need a virtual assistant anymore. And remember what I showed you guys in Builder Raw the other day. You see the mouse still haven't moved yet. All right. So it's sending that. It put the subject line in there. It put everything in there. OK, boom, sent that message. All right. So now it's going to wait 60 seconds and then it's going to go and do it all over again to the next line, to the next lead. All right. So here's the scraper. And as you can see, so far, it scrapes 468 uh, people from Instagram, DM, phone numbers, all of that extra stuff. Now, let me go ahead and get on the live stream with you guys because I'm late. <laughs> all right. Now, every last one of y'all should let me hold a stack and tell me how cold was that? All right. <laughs> now I'm messing with you. OK, so what did y'all think about uh, those um, little bots and softwares that I showed you guys right there? Those are just a few. So we were able to eliminate through using AI and automation systems and all of that. We've been able to eliminate hiring out and hiring virtual assistants to do scraping and lead generation and outreach and all of that extra stuff. It's certain things that we still use humans for. But um, majority of this stuff, ChatGPT and, and Jasper and, and, and Pictori and a lot of these different AIs, they're going to replace everybody. They're going to replace everything. But if you guys show up, consistently show up because I'm learning how to harness this stuff. Instead of fearing it, I'm leveraging it to make our businesses 10 times better. OK, so remember yesterday I showed you guys because a lot of people, you know, I still been seeing the haters in the comments. I pray that none of you guys are on here, uh, uh, you know, that were hating or whatever. But, you know, I don't mind it, you know. Um, but, you know, yesterday I logged in some of my accounts to show the proof. Uh, and then now today I'm showing you some of the bots. I wasn't able to show you some of our bots and our automations yesterday, but I'm proving. I'm proving everything that we we say. I'm proving everything that we do. You understand? Been in this game since the end of 2014. You understand? And I'm still here. You can you can track me all the way back to the CPA marketing days. So uh, I some dude tried to compare me to other YouTubers. I'm like, listen, first of all, I don't even consider myself a YouTuber. This is a channel that I I use to redirect uh, traffic and viewers to things that I want to help them with. That's what YouTube is to me. All right. Uh, it's definitely not a big enough uh, income stream for me to fake you guys out. I'm not Logan Paul or, or somebody big enough uh, to where I'm getting uh, paid to scam millions of people or something like that, right? Anyway, I appreciate you guys for being patient and showing up and everything. So yesterday, we went over some billion-dollar ideas with chat GP, uh, G GPT. If you guys don't remember, I'm going to show my screen, and then I'm going to show you guys some assets that you can start building out using chat GPT. So remember... ChatGPT itself right now is not going to build it for you, but you can, it will build the code for you. Okay. And then you can either reach out to me, I got developers, or you can go to somewhere as cheap as Fiverr or Upwork, take the code to them and just say, put this together for me. They'll, know, they'll already know what to do. At least you don't have to hire them to first write the code and come up with the app idea and do all of that extra stuff. So let's see. So he said, can you get into more de details about the ebooks? Ah, oh, man, I see a lot of you guys like the ebook situation. OK, I'm going to go into detail about the ebooks. Uh, put a one in the chat if you guys want to see more about the ebooks. Come on, come on. Class participation points, baby. Let's see what's going on with you. All right, because Hassan, Hassan wants to know more about the ebook. Somebody else was asking me about directories. So we'll go into the directories and the ebooks. Edward, what's up, Edward? Okay, K Young as well. Chaz, hey, y'all really like what's what's up with the ebooks? Why y'all like the ebooks so much? <laughs> he said, thanks, guys. Okay. DL Barkus. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, what's up? What's up with the ebooks? Why I, you know, I understand that they're assets, but why y'all like the ebooks so much? Okay, all right. So we'll go over the ebooks. Okay, so that's another one. Um, that's another one. Somebody in the comments was like, "So basically, you're just reusing other people's genius ideas." I heard heard something called standing on the shoulder of giants. Instead of trying to be the giant itself, the person that stands on the shoulder of a giant can probably see further than the giant, right? You know, I don't know how that works, but it sounds pretty, right? <laughs> My point is reinventing the dang on will. The Bible says, let all your ways be established. And if you guys don't like God or the Bible, you might as well leave now because I'm going to reference a lot of business. A lot of my success came straight from that book. It's not a woo ha, boo 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 boo. It's a manual, instruction manual for life. It has business in there and everything. Okay, so he said, in all your ways need to be established, meaning in business, all of your ways need to be established too. You shouldn't be trying to reinvent the wheel. You need to seek out things that have already been proven to work. And then you add your unique spin to it and you build on top of it to create something new. That's what you do. You understand? He said, uh, uh, Kay Young said, courses too. I am almost done with PowerPoints. Chaz said, I would like to hear more about the directory as well. And so did J uh, Jaron Clark. Am I saying your name right? Jaron or Jaron? Am I saying it right? I think. Um, okay, so we'll go over courses. We'll go over the directory and we'll go over ebooks. Okay. So we're going to start with the ebooks, y'all. So, like I said, you're not copying somebody's idea. So, let me share my screen with you. Uh, let's go to Google. And I'm going to show you exactly how you want to do this. Okay. It is not going to be copying somebody. Chat GPT is going to create unique content. 100% original. Another guy in the comments was like, oh, how is it 100% original if it pulls all this data from a gazillion different sources? Isn't all knowledge, shared knowledge, isn't everything you know, including your name, wasn't that shared with you at some point in your life? How did you know your name if somebody didn't share it? You understand all knowledge is shared knowledge. That doesn't mean that you can't put a unique spin on it and claim it as yours. You understand? So we can take a title, ooh, 12 months uh, to, to $12 million. That's somebody else's title, but after we plug it into chat GPT, it's going to come with a completely different blueprint than that book. So what the example I use, we'll do, we'll do this instead. Best romance, but um, best-selling romance novels. 2022. Put it in the chat. You guys can see my screen because I don't want to be doing this for nothing. Okay. All right. Gary, he said, this stream is so packed with gold. I appreciate it. Uh, what is your spiritual name again? That's what Jerron asked me. Um, oh, Yah is real. Yah is the name of the most high God. That's his actual real name. That's why you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means praise ye Yah. See, we've been speaking Hebrew this whole time and didn't even know it. The slaves snuck that in, right? Okay, so Yah. So I put real at the end of that because I praise him. Yah is real. So Yah is real. And I just kept my regular name as my middle name, David or David, because it's a biblical name anyway. I'm a king. No. And then the last name is Israel because that's who I, who I am. All right. So Yah is real. David is real. Um... All right, so let's move on. Okay, so best-selling romance novel. All right, so this, it ends with us. Let's see. what If you were mine, we'll take that one. <laughs> okay, let's click on that, and I'm going to try to find a summary. All right, what it says. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to share the screen with ChatGPT, guys. Let me share the screen with ChatGPT. So we got a good idea. We got a good title. 
We got a good title. Watch this. We just taking the title, man. Anything can come from a title. What if I name the book horse? That could be talking about the animal horse or it could be talking about the horses in a car engine. Am I still plagiarizing? Is that not an, an <laughs> a title means nothing. You understand what I'm saying? All right, what the story behind the title, that's the power. All right, so tell me when you guys can see my screen. All righty then, all righty. All right, y'all can see my screen? It should be on chat GPT now. He said, damn, my name starts with Ja as well. No, it's Ya, Ya, like hi -ya, like martial arts, Ya, okay, Y-A-H. This ain't the original Hebrew because those aren't the original. You heard what Kanye said. So it's not the real Hebrew either. They are converts, so they brought in a little bit of Yiddish and German into it, and it's really not real Hebrew, which is why I'm not trying to learn it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Yah, according to this world's Hebrew, uh, Yah is his name, all right? So someone, somebody said, anyone else has purchased his Builderall? First of all, Builderall isn't mine. That's a platform owned by somebody else. It is full of tools, all-in-one marketing tools that you can use for your businesses, even if you don't deal with me, okay? So it's not, I just want you to know that it's not my build a -roll, all right? Uh, I send you courses that I built when you sign up to their build a -roll. All right, so Yah or Jah shared knowledge, appreciate it. Okay, so let's go. It ends with us, right? Watch this, we're gonna say right a matter of fact, yeah, write a 10 chapter outline for a romantic novel entitled It Ends With Us. All right, so guys, this is off the cuff, all right? This is off the top of the dome like a freestyle. And what it's going to come up with, I'm pretty sure it's going to be wow. All right? Let's see. So it says in chapter one, introduce the main character, Lily, and her current life situation. Set the stage for events to come. Chapter two, introduce the love interest, Ryle, <laughs> and the circumstances under which they meet at work through a mutual uh friends now while this is doing this guys we're going to go back over there to google for those who think that chat gpt is just copying the story just because i gave it the same dang on title let's go over there to google real quick i gotta stop sharing and because we gotta the bible says to prove all things you know this is not a pride thing or anything i just don't want nobody getting it twisted like i'm not ever going to show you anything that can get you in trouble, especially on, on purpose or something like that, right? K. Young says, still waiting on courses. You didn't receive an email? It should have like three courses in there. Okay, so this is This Ends With Us audio book. We're going to check out It Ends With Us. Boom. Let's see what it's talking about. Yo, it does take this. <laughs> this is why you guys got to this is why I said you got to reread. You got to reread, guys. So be very careful. All right. So now we're going to come back over here and we're going to say change the names of the characters. Oops. Characters and the plot. Watch this story plot. Boom. Sure. Here's a revise. See, this is how you do that, guys. So chat GPT is not perfect. Oh, you guys can't see my screen. <laughs> Hold on. I got to reshare. Uh, so you got to take your time, guys. Don't just let chat GPT do all the work. So you do want to fact check. Like in the comments, I told somebody, they asked me how to fact check. I told them, hey, use the article writers 
and also go back to Google. So if you do use the title, listen, chat GPT is not a person yet. Oh, well, I say yet. All right. So make sure. So it changed the names. As you can see, it changed the names. So up here, it did have Lyle and Lily from uh, the, the original book. But then I said, change the names of the characters and the entire story plot. So now it says Emma. Okay, so now, guys, see, a, a very easy correction right here. And we can even go as far as saying, make it a row. Hold on. Watch this. Now it really gets away from plagiarism or anything related. Rewrite this same story outline as a romantic comedy instead. Boom! <laughs> you just got to know what to ask chat GPT, guys. All right, so let's see what it come up with. Look, guy, why did it keep going back to dang on Lily? No, 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 no. I meant the second one. Okay, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this right here. This part right here. Okay, so let me copy and paste the revised version. Okay. And then when this is done down here, we're going to tell it to rewrite this. It's still going. Rewrite the following as a romantic comedy. Okay. Now, dang. Okay, it still got 10. Hold on. Okay, it should be done now. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Then I asked it for 10. Okay, boom. Now let's see what's going on. All right, sure. Here's a revised outline for the romantic comedy. Boom. So now we got it back. See, we fixed everything. The tragedy is adverted. No copyright issues now. Now to change the names of the characters. And it's a romantic novel, but it added a twist to it. This is what I'm saying. Got to be a little bit creative. Don't just let ChatGPT do the thinking for you. It ain't as smart as you yet. It's just faster than you at getting ideas. But it's not as smart as you yet. So you still got to plug you in there to make it unique. You understand? All right? All right. So check this out. So it's still giving us excuse me, outlines, 10 outlines for this new romantic comedy called It Ends With Us. We're going to read over a couple of these. Then I'm going to show you how to go deep into the chapters, right? All right, so it gave us chapter one, introduce the main character, Emma and her li uh, current life situation, relationship set the stage for comedic events to come. So I'm going to say, uh, Right, chapter one. Okay, so let's see what it does. Okay, she is content with her independent lifestyle, but do, deep down, she longs for a meaningful connection with someone special. So you you want to constantly keep going back and forth, guys. Okay, so Chat GPT is going to give you the ideas. Oh God, Lee. Network error. Let me refresh the page. Eesh. There's a lot of people on this mug. See, it says we're experiencing exceptionally high demand. Please hang tight as we work on scaling our systems. They didn't really expect it to go this crazy, y'all. So, you know, their servers, their servers are weak and, and um, you know, they don't have that much. Right. So let's see. Jeez. Come on, man. Look, look, you see all these technical difficulties I'm having while I'm trying to show y'all how to make how to make this money, man. Look, OK, refresh it one more time. Let's do this. OK, it should be good now. OK, let's come down here. OK, regenerate response. All right, here's a potential chapter one for the romantic comedy. Emma sat at her desk staring at the screen in front of with her with bleary eyes. And like I said, you want to constantly go back and forth and check, make sure it's not still telling the same story. But I guarantee, well, I want to guarantee you, I am more than certain that since we added the element of comedy to it and we changed their names, 
is completely unique and original now. You can add other elements to it specifically, like something like make it during the winter time. So now it has to be original because if that other book didn't take place in the winter, how the heck can it be the same? So now when he starts chapter one, uh, <laughs> okay, um, make, continue, hold on, continue, but mention the time of year it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go, right? Right? With y'all. So it's going to continue. So it's a revised version that includes the time of the year. It was the middle of December. Now tell me, guys, is it plagiarism now? Because the it, uh, it, it ends with us book ain't talking about the season at all. And their names are Emma. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And it's not a comedy as well. It's just a romantic novel. One of the top romantic novels in the uh, of 2022, right? So now you're creating a whole different asset. You understand what I'm talking about? So come on, come on, come on. So then next, what you're going to do after this, guys, once you're done writing all of this up, I'm going to show you a site, the same site that we use for the SEO when we're using the chat GPT. And if you want chapter one to be uh, longer, you just type in continue right there. Boom. And then it just keep on going and all of that extra stuff. All right. Despite her exhaustion, Emma couldn't fall asleep that night. She tossed and turned, her mind racing with thoughts of all the things she still had to do before the holiday. You see, it's adding the holidays in there. The original book ain't got nothing to do with the holidays. <laughs> Come on. Are you hearing me? Wow. Okay. So. All right, there's 35 people on here, man. Y'all need to run them likes up. This video need to reach about 100,000, 50,000, 30,000, 20,000. All right, getting clients to be rich. Hey, getting clients to be rich. Watch out for that video. It's coming soon. All right, so it's continuing chapter one. So basically what you want to do is you want to open up documents or a notepad or something like that. And you're going to separate the chapters, guys. Remember, all the way up here, it's still writing and stuff. All the way up here, it already told us what's happening in each chapter. So, <laughs> like, when you're satisfied, guys, hold on, we're down here now. I can press continue again. I can press continue again. But let's say you're satisfied. For some reason, uh, uh, chat GPT, I mean, not GPT, but StreamYard will not allow you to share multiple windows at the same time. So I got to keep going back and forth, stop and share and then open up. And it's a freaking headache. I don't know what's up with this dang on thing. But anyway, so I'm just going to tell you what to do. All right. I, I, you guys know what Google Documents is, right? And you also know how to open up a notepad on your computer, right? I'm pretty sure you do, right? So you just open up a blank page. I don't care if it's a notebook or, or a freaking document, or even if you open up your Gmail, I don't, it doesn't matter. Just you're going to section these chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So you're going to paste in chapter one and then you're going to come back down here. Now you're going to say, begin chapter two. Look how simple it is. Oh my God. All right. So <laughs> So now it's starting chapter two from what it told you. Uh, remember, it got the outlines of all the chapters and everything that's happening in each chapter. Come on, man. And remember, don't forget, it has the, it changed the names of the characters. And, and that's what every movie is. Every movie is literally the same with different characters. Every superhero movie got the same plot. All right. That guy comes in. He seems invincible. Then he falls in front of his his uh, fans and people that think he's a hero. Then he spend the rest of the movie trying to redeem himself and gain his powers back. And then voila, he's Black Panther. Voila, he's Superman. Black. He's all of that. You see what I'm saying? Everything got the same plot. So all is ooh plagiarism. Ooh, it's not original book crap. No, nothing is original. It's all shared knowledge. You change the characters, you change a few narratives, you change a few scenarios, but at the end of the romantic novel and everyone, people still want them to get together, fall in love and ride off into the sunset. So it does not matter. All right. So this is chapter two. 
boom. And you just hit continue. Continue, baby. As the days passed, Emma found herself caught up in the chaos of the holiday season. Between work, gift shopping, and attending parties, she's barely had time to catch her breath. She was grateful for Rachel. Oh, no. Who is Rachel? Oh, no. What kind of book is this? <laughs> I didn't even realize the names of the characters. Who is Rachel, man? Listen. Hey. I ain't say that I was trying to make it LGBTQ and sometimes Y book, okay? But um, <laughs> it looked like this is what it's doing. Look, <laughs> look, see, ChatGPT is super smart. It knows what error, it knows what time we're in, <laughs> where Emma can be in love with Rachel in a romantic novel. It went from Lily and the dude named Rao to now is Emma and some chick named Rachel. <laughs> see? It's original. It even changed freaking like, <sighs> that's crazy. Okay, so Gary said, um, I, I just used to write a children's, I just used it to write a children's book for my grandson who just got a little brother a few hours ago. Wow, congratulations, man. Hassan said, LOL. Profile said, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> All right, so what y'all think about this, man? Like, just using a little bit of creativity. As y'all saw at the beginning, we ran into a little issue where it did have the names. It did pull the name uh, from the original book just by me putting in the title. But guess what? All I did was say, change the characters' names. I said, make it a romantic comedy instead of just a comedy. And then make it the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> and it went in and it created an entirely different book. Now, tell me you finding that. You understand what I'm talking about? This is why I said that this software is extremely powerful. A lot of people don't understand what they could do with it. Okay, fine. If you just put it in something plain, it might find some plain answer for you. Okay. Well, if you still realize that you are smart too, put a little bit of your creativity in there, then it will create something like amazing. You'll become Van Gogh of eBooks, <laughs> Rembrandt of audiobooks. You understand what I'm talking about? Leonardo da Vinci of courses. You understand what I mean? All right, there's bars right there. So Hassan said, ask it to rewrite the book for an Asian audience. Hmm. Rewrite the book for an Asian audience. So now you're getting creative. So let's see what it's going to say. Sure, here's a revised outline for a romantic comedy set in Asian context. Ah, it go back to Lily again. Jesus. Okay. See, as you guys can see, every time you change something, since uh, the original went all the way up here, uh, was talking about Lily, you understand, is going to take from that one. Like, we literally have to, like, delete that part right there. But as you can see, it's working. It's working. So for all of you guys creating assets, ebook assets that you're going to upload to Kindle and other stores and Barnes and Noble online and all of that. You are just going to have the outline created, like I said, like I just showed you, and you're just going to tell it, hey, give me 10 chapters, 15, 20 chapters for a romantic comedy with this title. I'm not telling you to do a romantic comedy, whatever you want it to be. That I'm just giving you the instructions, the steps. Okay. So then it's going to give you the 10. And then you're just going to say, uh, begin step one or begin chapter one. And then you're going to let it go as long as you want it to go. It'll just keep up, keep on coming up with context for chapter one. And then you'll just highlight all of that, copy all of that and paste it into the document. And that document will say chapter one. Boom. Now you come back and you say, continue to chapter two. And you just blah, 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 all the way down just like that for chapter two. And you do that until you got the end of it. And you can literally say, now, write an outro for this book. Boom. 
So it's going to give you a conclusion for it. So it's going to really look like you wrote it and really seem like you put a lot of thought into it and it's professional and it's going to pass every test if you did it how I instructed. You have to be able to pivot. You can't just be basic. You have to be able to weave, bob and weave and ussy, ussy, get your Javante Davis game going right now. You understand what I'm talking about? You got to be able to do that. You understand? Like you have to. Uh, here we go with the network bull. Okay, so it picked up. Sometimes it frees up and you just say regenerate response and it'll keep going and all of that extra stuff. Like, all right, so you just have to be able to like maneuver through the bull. A lot of people run into an obstacle and be like, oh, well, I guess this doesn't work. I guess they were right about chat GPT. It doesn't come with any original content. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't come up with nothing. So, I don't know what's going on, you know. Hold on, guys. I just got an unruly text message. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. I want y'all to realize something. I am a person, too. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you help people. Especially if you discounts. This is why you don't discount. I don't recommend you guys discount, but sometimes for brothers, I'll discount. But people aren't like you'll discount and then they'll have the nerve to try to rush you. Like, hold on, do you know that I could have charged you twenty thousand dollars for that? I only charged you five to ten grand for it. Go to Google and try to get the same thing for for less than what I got you. Be patient. Don't rush me. I'm not soft. All right. Anyway, let's move on, guys. All right. So yeah, it says chat GPT is at uh, capacity. K Young said, uh, suppose you could still be, will be ultra different. <laughs> he said, uh, so dude said, oh, self-made. What's up, bro? He said, so no need for quill bot? No. Check this out. Listen, they build an asset. Just like I'm trying to tell y'all to do. They found the issue with chat GPT and they hopped on it real quick. Hey, it's still going to have flaws and all of that, guys. So if you just put it in Quill Bot, then you'll be able to do this. You pay, uh, you know, a little bit per uh, a penny or some cent per word. Or something. I forgot how it go, right? <laughs> they built an asset like I'm trying to tell you guys to do. So now... Since people realize the little issue with ChatGPT, Quillbot is making a crap load of money just off of that little bit. All they're doing is rewriting and recorrecting things or pointing out little small flaws for ChatGPT. When I'm not trying to tell you not to invest in stuff, but as you saw, I went live with you guys on here. I could have embarrassed myself and said, oh, I don't know what to do. You guys, they were right in the comments about ChatGPT. It sucks. No. You have to adapt. You understand what I'm talking about? You got to be a chameleon there. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> you got to adapt, guys, in order to succeed. So, okay, it ain't perfect. Boom. You happy now? Does Do you want an award? Does that fix the fact that we still need automations in life and still need things to make our jobs easy? Are you happy that you proved that chat GPT ain't, ain't a sentient yet? It ain't perfect. It's not self-aware. It's not the Terminator. Are you happy now? No. Well, check this out. Look, just add some stuff to it. Fine. You're still smarter than chat GPT. You win. Okay. But it's faster than you. So put a little bit of you in there. And you can create genius works of art. Okay. So uh, <laughs> Kevin Clark said, so true. Art said, I think that's OG. You already know me. All right. So as y'all saw, we just took the title. It ends with us and created a book out of it. And I'll say you give yourself about an hour. It'll be complete. Like just one hour. And it will be completely original. Now, fine. How about this? Let's say somebody else come with you, come at you and say, oh, man, what if Kendall uh, come up with some AI detection situation and they don't want to accept it? You take the article. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. The Bible says prove all things, baby. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take 
chapter two. Highlight that. We'll take the whole chapter real quick. All right. We're going to copy it. And then this is another one because some of you guys got Jasper and some of you guys got these other little things where you pay for them to rephrase it and, and all. Uh, <laughs> watch this. What is it? Free uh, article spinner. All it is is free Uncle Spinner. All of them things that y'all are paying for to, to rephrase it. Yeah, is rephrase is just another word for spin. Okay, so they're making you spend money to spin an article when you can do it right here without spin mean anything okay so you can do basic rephrase you can do advanced rephrase now watch this if you wanted to still keep the you know complete narrative of everything and don't completely change the story or something like that you just put in your ignore words so ignore emma because that's her name uh ignore rachel because that's their her name Ignore Mike, because it's some dude named Mike in there. I just saw that right now. And uh, those are the most important stuff. Okay, now, we want to keep holiday because that's the time of the year, right? Okay, uh, let's see. What else in here is important? Mm. Okay, so all it's going to do is find adjectives and synonyms and all of that extra stuff to replace majority of the words and write it in a different fashion. So if you are afraid, I showed you guys yesterday and I'll show you guys again that some of my pages on my websites are ranking in Google. So who are these? I ain't going to call them out their name. Who are these people talking about? AI generated content. Is going to get flagged and penalized and won't rank in Google. Man, that mug ranked in like less than 24 hours after it indexed on my dang on site. I don't want to hear the BS. Check this out. I'm going to tell y'all the real. So all we're going to do is hit basic paraphrase. Oh, my God. Here it is over here. Okay. Emma's eyes widened in horror. Okay. Then we got right here the same thing. Emma showed up. Where are we at? Emma showed up uh, at the holiday gift trade feeling restless and ill-equipped. She had scarcely rested the prior night, and her brain was all the while dashing with considerations of the relative multitude of things she needed to do before the year's end. Okay, so all it did was took the stuff over here. Here you go. My bad. So it rewrote this over here and made it more, a lot of the stuff more human, or just rephrased it. That's what it's going to do in all of those other ones that y'all are paying for. You understand what I'm saying? I did it free. So I, I had it, I had ChatGPT write me some articles and stuff, and then I brought it over here and spent it a couple times for free. And then I went and put it on my site. And let's go back to Google and see where, where it's ranking at today. Let's see. Top St. Louis rappers. Okay, baby. Where are we at? Okay. I think I still got to do a, a video, too. Yes, I am from the STL M0314. You already know it's true. Where I'm from, the Lou. What it do? All right. So where are we at? Come on. Mm, oh, here it is right here. Top St. Louis rapper list. And like I said the other day, I haven't even really got a chance to do like deep SEO on it. I haven't did like I have a perfect SEO game plan um, and it has 31 steps on it. Most of the time I don't even get to step 12 because there's really no SEO out there that can do what I can do. And I'm that's not a pride thing. It's just the accumulation of of experiments since 2015 and, and, and the proof that I got out there. Like, it's just so much I have out there. That's why I knew when people was talking all of this, chat GPT stuff won't be able to bring. I was like, please, y'all just don't know what you're doing. So as you can see, it's, it's basic. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even put uh, that much like media on there. There's no images on there yet. Um, there's no videos on there yet or anything. It's just literally, I haven't even completed the outline. Like these, 
I have to like go deeper into each of these little uh, outlines right here. I only did this one right here so far. A, perfect a unique and distinct style. ChatGPT came up with all these ways to perfect uh, <laughs> Uh, a unique and distinct style. I'm st I still have to come through and do all the rest of these. So if it's at the bottom of page two right now with no backlinks, no referral traffic or none of that stuff, what's going to happen when I add videos and uh, geo tagged images and Google map uh, driving location? All, all this stuff that y'all probably don't know too much about, I ain't going to get into. <laughs> What's gonna happen when I do that? It's gonna up to dang on number one, or at least close to the top. You understand what I'm talking about? And this is Chat GPT generated <laughs> content right here, man. So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. Y'all can't be listening to these dudes. That a lot of them got big channels, bigger than mine. That's because I'm not. I don't really consider myself a YouTuber. I used to use YouTube. If you go back just a couple weeks before I even mentioned ChatGPT, you'll notice that all of my videos were geared towards lead generation. I get students and clients from these channels. I, I am not purposely trying to go viral or something. Since 2015, I've been on here and it's mainly been to teach. You understand? So all these dudes with these giant channels and all of that, that's cool. But that's their main income source. So, of course, they got to trend hop and, and tell you whatever you want to hear. So you'll keep, uh, <laughs> you know, loving them and won't unsubscribe. And I, listen, I'm going to tell you what works. If chat GPT didn't work, then I would be like, look, it's a piece of crap. But it's not. It's, it's something that can assist you in becoming better. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> when they switch on Skynet, <laughs> that's what profile said. Uh, yeah, Quill is making extra change just for spinning it. Listen, I just showed y'all <laughs> for free. If you got Grammarly, you can do it in there. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, but. I ain't hating on Quill by listen. If you see an opportunity to create an asset, no matter how simple it seems, guys, is something it's if you know things that other people don't know, then you're qualified to get paid for it. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Everything, every business works like that. If I don't know how to unclog a freaking drain, then I'm going to pay somebody that do know how to unclog it. What am I going to do? Sit on YouTube all day trying to figure out how to unclog this crap? You know, no, I'm not going to uh, take out my own transmission. Yeah, I can figure that out for free. I can do that. For free. Yes, I probably can. But this dude have already become a specialist and he deserves to get paid for that. <coughs> OK, so we're going to move on. Ah, now that's some high quality H2O. That's a throwback. Oh, man. Okay, so check this out, man. My broski ain't on here tonight. Um, Automate with AI said this actually looks fun. It is fun, man. I mean, come on, check this out, guys. It's never been anything like this before that you can leverage and use as an assistant. Quit thinking is is made to just like just you don't have to do a damn thing. You still got to do something, something, unless you hire a VA for that. But with the whole goal is to not have to. You don't want too much manpower. Hire a VA as a supervisor, okay, or a manager that manages all of your systems. But things like this can do all of the research for you. Why are you going to hire a VA to do the research for you? And then you got to hire the actual writer. Then you got to hire, if you're doing an audio book, a ghost. Uh, I mean, not a ghost writer, a, a, a freaking narrator or a voiceover artist. You understand why when you can, you know, people are complaining that it's not perfect, but it can literally take the job of multiple people that you would have had to pay for. I've paid for it before. So think of how happy somebody said, hey, man, you be looking excited when we're talking about, do you understand that it's people I don't have to pay anymore? 
<laughs> it's people don't have to pay anymore. Not, not saying I'm cheap or anything, but listen, dude, the more lean you can keep your business, the better chance you have at longevity. It's good to invest, but you want to make smart investments. So if a machine can do a, a, a job better than a human, the machine doesn't get tired, doesn't care about holidays, pagan holidays. The machine does not care. It don't have to use the bathroom. It don't have a family emergency. What the hell am I going to deal with that BS for when I can have a few buttons pushed we're getting close to that. Remember when people used to talk stuff and say, oh, it's not like a button you can push and just get rich. <laughs> we're getting close to that. We're, we, we're getting there, y'all. <laughs> we're getting there. Like, literally, y'all sent me with just a few clicks of buttons, like create content. You seen me in the video with the software. Some of you guys are new on here and didn't get to see that video. But you seen, for those that did get to see, I probably played it then. But, um <laughs> You saw just a, a few clicks of the button, like the mouse, the auto, the uh, the software it started scraping all of the leads by itself on Instagram, and then I had the other bot that opened up Instagram, commented on the last post, telling them to go check their DM because if you're not their friend or follow, if they're not following you, they're not gonna see it. So first, the comment tells them to go check your DM. It's very some it's something very enticing in there for you. <laughs> and then they open the DM and then bow, it got my booking calendar or whatever I'm trying to sell to them in there. Boom. Okay, and guess what? When they go to that booking calendar and they set a time for it, either I'm gonna charge them to get on the call with me, or once they book, it's gonna automatically redirect them to another video, upselling them something higher damn ticket. You understand? All of this stuff is automated. This is why I can sit on here and lose track of time and hang out with y'all. Otherwise, I would still be doing all of this stuff manually like I used to. And not having a life. I got three children. Check this out. Your business is made to serve you. You're not made to serve your business. I know y'all heard that before. Life is not all about businesses and money. You got family, you got your health, you got experiences and all of this. But we get so caught up in just work and business. Check this out. The scripture says, he that has little business is wise. Go look it up. I'm not lying. Who <laughs> said, he that has little business is wise. Tell me right now in the chat, I need to get some good uh, commitments from you guys. Can you guys be here Sunday morning around 11 a.m.? <coughs> That's when uh, it's the Sabbath day. And I do uh, our Bible classes. Listen, I prove a friend. The scripture says if you're going to prove uh, if you're going to get a friend, you need to prove them. That means if y'all are trying to be my friends, it can't just only be a money thing. All right. And you want to spend as much time with a person that can help you. Get to where you're going in life as you sh as you can. So if you can be here on Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern with me and my family, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you everything I've learned. Check this out. Alex Hormozzi can't make you a freaking billionaire, but God can. Grant Cardone can't, but God can. He gives you the power to gain wealth. He gave it to them. That's why when they try to explain how they got there, it sounds like foolishness because they have no idea that they were following his blueprint. Is literally, I'm going to show you guys the blueprint to wealth in the scriptures. If you never heard of a man named Myron Golden, you need to check him out. He teaches biblical principles. Then there's some yarmulke Jews that try to teach biblical principles for business and all of that extra stuff too. My point is this. Those that really know how to dissect the Bible understand that it's not just some book that was sitting in the pews and all of that while you was with the with the tambourines at church and dancing down the house. Listen, you need to open that damn book, right? Okay, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you everything. The prophets weren't broke. 
That's fake Christianity teaching y'all to fill their collection plates and keep your lights going off every dang on month. I'm going to show you exactly through the Bible on Saturday, Lord's will, at 11 a.m. Set your alarms right now. Do that for me, y'all. <clears throat> Set some type of reminder that at 11 a.m. Saturday, coming up, Lord's will, we all make it there, that you're going to be there. You're going to learn more than you ever learned in business. Isn't that crazy when everybody says, God doesn't care about money. God doesn't care if you're, you're wealthy. God, <laughs> you're not going to get the kingdom if you're sitting here worried about money. There's a scripture that says, make friendly with mammon. The mammon of unrighteousness. Oh my God, did God just tell you to, to, to get acquainted with unrighteousness? No. He understands we're in this captivity right here. In this captivity, the God that makes everything work is money. So he's telling you how to maneuver in this particular world. He said, a wise man that is poor is despised. So you're not going to be able to teach people or reach people, even if you have a wealth of knowledge, if, you're, if you can't show what you know. So you have to actually be doing what you're teaching. This is why people don't want to go to college because they teach in economics in there, but they broke getting paid a teacher's salary. See, the Bible is real. He tells you the truth. you have to actually get it. Money is not the root of all evil. What you do for money is the root of all evil. Only fans selling drugs. I do anything to get to the bag. That mentality, that's the sin. Money itself, the scripture, watch this. I got to give it to you guys before, before I let you guys go. Because, guys, I'm going to teach you life. I'm not just going to teach you chat GPT. If you want to be a well-rounded entrepreneur that, do, that don't die off after these trends die off, because trust me, chat GPT, a lot of this stuff is going to die off. Trends die off. But if you want to be able to pivot, maneuver, and have assets that stand the test of time, they have to be built on principles that stood the test of time. Ask yourself why 4,000 years later, his name is still being spoken. Name another book or ebook or audio book that sells out every, uh, every year more than any other book. Name one. Oh, it has to be a blueprint that is magnifico. In order for that to happen, how do you take the same book from the freaking ancient days and sell it every freaking year? None of these people have ever met the man ever. But if they get shot, if they stub their toe, what are they going to yell out? Tell me that ain't the best business blueprint of all time. How do you make that for your business? I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. And the scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Why? Because God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech, it's great speech. Whatever I tell you, I can back it up. Watch this. Money is a defense. <laughs> All right. So for the Christianity Christians that think you're not supposed to do anything with money, look, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give it life to them that have it. So you don't want to just have money. You see all these football stars and celebrities that be at the height of their life and then look like some idiots later. That's because they got the money, but they didn't gain wisdom. Right. You need to have wisdom with money. Money is bad. <laughs> money is money itself ain't bad. But having money is bad. If you don't have no wisdom, you win the lottery. If you were a crackhead before you won the lottery, you're going to kill yourself with all that money. Duh. Common sense. Right. So money is not bad, guys. Money is a defense. Watch this. Uh, this, this is the stuff that I know that I'm going to bestow upon you guys. OK. Money. Answer it. Money answer it all things. If you need this app idea built out, if you type a code, watch this. We're gonna go back to uh, Chat GPT, and I'm going. I'm going to show you it writing the scraping, the coding for a scraping tool. <laughs> 
But guess what? If you don't know how to like put it together and all of that stuff, you're still going to need a little bit of money to go and get a developer to like put the, put the tool together and make it a reality. Money answer it all things. You get locked up. If you got money, you can make bail. If you got money, you can pay some crooked lawyers and some crooked judges like the Italians do. Ooh, did I say that? Oh, oh my God. Am I going too far? All right, the Bible says try not to offend. Let me calm down a little bit. But I just wanted y'all to, like, don't get it twisted, y'all. The things that I'm going to show you is everlasting. Right now, Chat GPT, we're talking about that this is a trend. But how are you going to make money when this stuff dies down? How are you going to be able to be the one that got it on the side of your building? You know those buildings that says since 1734. Don't you want to be able to pass that down to your children and all of that stuff? You have to own assets. And the Bible talks about a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Affiliate marketing, you can't pass affiliate marketing down to your children's children. But if you own the affiliate network that the affiliate marketers come and uh, promote the offers from, you can pay uh, pass that asset, that affiliate network down to your children. See, so you're just thinking a little bit different, guys. All right, that's all it's about. So Profile says, hold on. K says, don't we have a developer in here? It might be a developer in here. <laughs> Profile said, get the money out of the church's AA ATM. Uh, Profile says, <clears throat> hold on, y'all. I'm freaking. I think I'm dehydrated. Where's the top to my water? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. I believe in a creator, not God. <laughs> As God is a man made construct. I'm spiritual, <laughs> but I don't need the Bible to, to know about spirituality. Just be as close to nature as possible. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Listen, check this out. I'm not a Bible thumper, Jehovah Witness, uh, Christianity, Christian, soft, uh, baby, uh, baby oil or, or Vaseline suit with the slick shoes that you run through the church halls with. I'm not one of those dudes. Bars. But I'm going to tell you, there's no book out there as real as the Bible. In 2000, what is it, 2014, I didn't believe in it. I believed in God, but I thought what all other people that look like me was raised to believe. That's the white man's book. They trying to trick you, brother. <laughs> How you going to read the book of your oppressor? Oh, my God. The scripture says that our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If this was the white man's book, they wouldn't have had a problem with you reading it during slavery. They wouldn't believe that you were revolt. It's things in this book that will give you hope and it will make you rise up and try to do things because you'll see yourself in this book. Everybody else has a history book. China, Germans, Russia, all of them have a history book. Have you ever thought what yours was? I told you at the beginning of this, this, this is not just some woo-ha spiritual book. This is a book of a family, a kingdom. The Israelites are real people. If you go look in the freaking Egyptian tombs, you'll see them on the walls. They were slaves over there and they were slaves in, in America. So it's not that type of book. It's a book that they made into a fairy tale. But it's an actual history book and it's a prophetic book. And it entails everything that went on back then, what's going on right now, and what will go on in the future. And it is no other book that can do that, which is why wars are fought over that book, which is why when an atheist gets shot, they will still say, oh, my God, Jesus, help me. Well, first of all, we know his name wasn't Jesus, but they'll still scream it out anyway. So what, what, what's real? 
point out something else that's real. We can all try to say the Bible, but give me proof. I can show you scriptures that will talk about your entire life. What other book can do that? Buddha? No. Quran? No. What other book? The Book of the Dead? No. So, like I said, if you guys show up on <laughs> show up on Saturday, some things I will show you is the reason why I'm so successful. Y'all don't even know how successful I am. And that's not a boastful thing. I don't put a lot of stuff on social media because I God destroys idols. When you guys give me <clears throat> compliments, I, if you ain't noticed, I'm quick to say all praises to the most high God because I don't want nobody to make me an idol. I want to stay humble. I don't want my head to get puffed up because God pri pride comes before the fall. When you start thinking you all that, when you think you're untouchable, you're on top and all that, he loves to make an example out of you because he's a jealous guy. He doesn't want people to follow people. He wants people to follow him. You understand? So, guys, if you really want to know how to grow your businesses, you're going to need way more than tips and tricks. <laughs> you'll need more than some tips and tricks because tips and tricks change every year. Next year is going to be a whole set of new software, new platforms, new social medias. And all you if you all you have is tips and tricks that are temporary, you're only going to make money that year. Then you're going to be right, right back at the drawing board looking for some guru. But principles stand the test of time. I can make it in any generation. It doesn't matter because it's specific principles that work no matter what. Jay-Z said something. He said me he said put me on he said put me anywhere on God's green earth, I'll triple my worth. You can only say something like that with much confidence if you have a formula, a specific blueprint. If it wasn't luck. Everything could be taken away from me and I would know how to build it right back cuz I don't need luck. I know the formula, which is what I'm going to give you guys. So right now we're talking about chat GPT, but I pray that once a lot of this stuff fizzles out and a whole bunch of other new stuff come out, you guys don't just fly away. I hope you guys stay with me because I am going to show you things other channels won't show you. Just like you showed up today, continue to show up. I'm not certain if I'll be going live tomorrow or anything. I have to like make sure everything is good because I do have students and I do have clients and stuff and all of that. And I do have kids and a wife, right? <laughs> so I got a life, right? So, uh, but you guys are important to me. I just don't want you guys to be deprived of the right information. <clears throat> and I don't want the blind leading the blind because they both fall into a ditch. If you out here just watching all of these trending chat GPT videos of people talking about what you could do. They haven't showed you anything that they've built. I've shown you things that I've built. I've shown you some of the systems we got. I've logged into some accounts. I've shown you some of the, the things and, and software that we use. If these people aren't doing this, y'all, chances are they just trying to ride the trend. Now, I'm not trying to hate on anybody. Get it. Get it how you live. BG, cash, money style, whatever you want to say, right? But <clears throat> protect yourself. You understand? So Gary says, uh, your video on courses is what really attracted me to your channel. And then the way you were thinking and implementing the AI intrigued to me. Then using proven principles just made a lot more sense. That's what I'm saying. If you have specific principles, you can sell anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can sell anything. It's certain, it's certain things you got to know. A lot of people are like, oh, David, will what you do work with my type of business? I'm a plumber. How would that work with my business? Listen, do, do you work with people? Yes, I work with people. Then there's certain things that we can do and say to people that will get them to buy your stuff. It's just, it's just principles. Okay, <clears throat> so this will work. If any of you guys had that question, yes, this will work with any product, any business. It does not matter. If that business deals with people, it will work. Okay. Gary said, I'm learning so much this stream. 
and on your other ones. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, Self made said, I'm with that too. Your eyes are wide open now. Um, Chaz Miller said, I'm here for all the most high talk and teaching. I appreciate that, Chaz Miller, man. Listen, <laughs> I don't come without God. Listen, if y'all want to dip on me, y'all can do all that. I already told you I'm not a YouTuber. If you don't like hearing about God, if God is like, ah, ah, like you're dang on vampire and it's like shining the light, then you need to ride out. Because I don't come without God. It's like a single mother would tell a dude that's trying to date her and she got a, she got a kid. Like, hey, me and my daughter is a package deal. Well, that's how it is with me and God. Because I understand that I wouldn't have none. I've had lows. You understand? Just a few, some months ago, like over 80% of my freaking assets on Google was wiped out with the last freaking algorithm. If I didn't have assets other than what I had on Google, I would have been completely wiped out. So God can bring you high and he can bring you low, but he always give you a little bit to where you can climb back up and you see that, hey, I did show you mercy though. You understand what I'm talking about? And guess what? I'm back up. I'm back up because of principles, principles. It doesn't matter if it's a scamdemic going on. It don't matter if you got a mask on or they trying to shoot you up with some pig blood freaking vac vaccine. It doesn't matter what's going on. If you got these principles, you'll know how to live and survive and thrive in this world. OK, <laughs> guys, I said I haven't been able to sleep for two nights. Why, man? What's up? Why you ain't been able to sleep for two nights? OK, who is this? Oh, man. Hold on. I ain't even show y'all. Yeah. Um, Okay. All right. I ain't trying to keep y'all too long. Okay. All right. So, all right. I'm going to make a commitment. All right, I'm going to see most of y'all on uh, Laura's Will on Saturday. Laura's Will on Saturday. But how about this? Uh, if you guys can make it tomorrow. If, you, if not, we already been on her two days. I understand. But I just remembered. <laughs> you guys didn't just say you wanted to go over the ebook. You wanted to go over the courses and the directory. Now, let me tell you this, my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite business models is the directories. Do you know it's so many ways to get paid through directory? Okay, check this out. First of all, you, you can go, you're gonna get paid instantly. I'm gonna show you guys a software. To, look, I'm giving y'all all of it, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a software. Shoot, it can send like 200 messages per minute. All right. So imagine that. And, and this is reaching out to business owners and all and anybody that you're trying to sell to. So all business is just getting your offer in front of, uh, you know, a particular prospect that you're interested in selling to and hoping that they're interested in it. But if you can leverage these tools, AI tools, automation tools, all of that stuff, if you can leverage these tools to reach more people at a faster rate, you can take an eight hour work day and condense it down to 30 to 45 minutes a day with no freaking employees if you don't want. I used to get on uh, these little um, clients. Um, what do you call them? Client uh, freaking calls. Uh, what are you pre qualification calls or where you're trying to close the client? But I remember that my webinars used to convert like crazy because I show so much, I teach so much, kind of like what I'm doing with you guys right now. So usually when I get to the end of the webinar, uh, people want to buy. So I said, hold on, let's say, okay, let's say I got this software that I'm going to show you guys, Laura's Will tomorrow. Excuse me. Um, and it's reaching out to all these realtors is telling them about my directory, offering them free listing, offering them the affiliate army as well, where I train 250 highly skilled advertising assassins to use their own money, time, effort, and networks to drive sales to them with no risk, no investment. Oh my God, that's an irresistible offer right there. But anyway, so I send this message out to 10,000, right? 
now when they come back to answer, instead of the booking calendar talking to me, uh, I mean, uh, setting up a time with me, it can just redirect them to a webinar. So yes, you can use these automation tools to fill up webinars too. For some of you guys that are selling products or selling courses or mentorships or whatever, use these automation tools instead of using Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, and all of that. You can use these softwares to fill up your webinars. And then they pay at the end. And then they still have an option. If they just got to talk to somebody human, they can rebook on the dang on calendar to talk to somebody human. But the goal is at the end of that webinar for them to click a button and be sent an invoice. Oh, my God. Right. So. Um, so, yes, Lars will tomorrow uh, around the same time. Like I'm going to be doing some little posts on the community post. Make sure you guys are paying attention to that because uh, I'm going to give you uh, some updates of what we're going to talk about tomorrow so it can be a little bit more uh, uh, organized and stuff. I haven't did this live streaming stuff in a long time, y'all. So forgive me if it's, it feels a little all over the place sometimes, you know, especially if I get excited. I'm passionate about this type of stuff. So just forgive me on that. Um, but yeah, so pay attention to the community posts, okay? Because it's going to give you outlines so you guys can be prepared for what we're going to go over tomorrow. Some of these softwares I'm going to recommend to you guys. You don't have to go and buy them or sign up to them. You don't have to. But I'm only going to show you things that will make your lives easier. If you haven't already joined the uh, <clears throat> AI money Facebook group chat GPT uh, thing or whatever, then you need to go ahead and join that. I'll put that in the chat right now. Right now, I think we got like um, maybe we might be having like a hundred people up in there, up in there, just in a couple dang on days, right? So that group is starting to fill up. Gary, Gary said the first night I was up watching all your old streams. <laughs> Hold on, where are you? At? Yeah, watching all your old streams and videos, and then last night I was up catching up on Builder All. <sighs> Profile said you're good, bro. <laughs> You have a good spirit. You know, I appreciate it. Chaz Miller said, thanks again for sharing your expertise and knowledge with us. How can we become students of yours? Well, I have a lot of courses prior to this, guys, uh, but I haven't built anything for this in particular. Um, so what I'm going to do, you guys follow along with me. You know, I'm going to make something that is affordable to you guys. I'm not going to charge you what I would normally charge people. Um, I'll set it up for around the time where income taxes come for some of y'all. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. I'm messing with you, right? But just a couple of weeks from now, I'll have a course for you. But it's not just about AI. Remember what I told you guys. Only the way to build an inheritance is to have ownership. Ownership of what? Yesterday, we went through all of these different business models, e-commerce, all of that stuff. And the ones that were the billionaires were not the participants on the platform, but were the owners of the platform. What if you reached out to all of these drop shippers that's making $20,000 a week drop shipping on Shopify, and you said, hey, it's a new platform. It's a new platform, and we ain't going to charge you the first month. And you're going to get free ads that come with your account to drop ship with. And you're going to get recommended tools to help you predict which products to drop ship to when you sign up to my new drop shipping platform. Oh my God, what if you scraped all of those guys from off of Instagram and you blasted them out a link to your drop shipping platform and instead of you being a drop shipper, you sat back and made money off of the transaction fees of all of these people driving Facebook ad traffic, Google ad traffic, SEO traffic, YouTube traffic to your platform, getting sales, putting money in their pocket, but putting money in yours at the same time. You get a piece, you get a piece of everybody's payments. Oh my God. OK, so this is the type of stuff that I'm trying to sh uh, show you guys and teach you guys. I showed you guys some of my platforms uh, yesterday. I have a few more being worked on right now. What I do is I take the uh, like what I, what I showed you guys yesterday. I look at the leaders of those industries. 
And then I just create my own version of that asset and make an irresistible offer for each one of those. I'm going to create a course, the name of the course. Write this down right now. Let's see. Let's come up with a day. This is January 9th. I don't know yet. Maybe the 20th uh, or the, maybe the 29th. Between the 20th and the 29th, I'll drop it. Okay. It's going to be called Asset Empire. Okay. Write that down. So set on a, well, you can't really set a reminder if you don't know the exact date, right? Just make sure you guys are following with me. This is going to be the best thing you ever came across. And I'm not just saying that. It's not a prideful thing. But from what I've come across, there's a lot of people teaching you how to make money, but they're not teaching you how to create assets that stand the test of time that will continue to pay you. People talk about all this passive income, but I'm seeing a lot of active income. I'm trying to teach you how to create assets that once it's set up, it's going to continue to pay you. Why? Because it's going to take on a life of its own, because most of the assets that you're going to build is going to be ran by users, user generated content. The users are going to bring all of the money to you. So that's what Asset Empire is going to do. Remember when we first started talking before um, before uh, Panama knocked my lights out? <laughs> I was telling you guys about creating a king and a castle, creating that moat around itself for protection. Your assets or like little pieces of insurance or, uh, that you're putting around you, making sure that you're going to be successful for the long term. If you got a music platform, it's going to take on a life of its own. Why? Because nobody has to force artists to promote themselves. So if an artist is uploading their music to your platform, they're going to, on their own, on their own, take the link to their profile on your platform, and they're going to show it everywhere that they want other people to hear their music at. That's going to bring new users, new ad revenue, because you're going to put ads on your platform. <laughs> That's why I say instant monetization. You get a platform, you put ads on it, you start riding traffic to it, you get instant monetization, whether or not somebody subscribe or not. Oh, it's not that hard, is it? Okay, so so they're going to go out and bring you all the traffic, even if you had 200 users on your platform. That's it's formulas, guys. It's blueprints to this stuff. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And directories, we're going to talk about directories and courses to, uh, tomorrow, Laura's will. All right. So, man, it's 39 people on here, man. I, I feel blessed, man. I appreciate that you guys are are rocking with me in this journey. It's not just about ChatGPT, it's about creating assets. ChatGPT is an asset that you can use to create assets. You understand what I'm talking about? If you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you ain't created no assets. <laughs> All right, so next time we on here and y'all see the super chat, you already know what to do to that. And when you see the cash app, that's where you send the cash at, right? Bars, okay? But I love you guys, man. Uh, Laura's will. I'll see you guys tomorrow, manana, at uh, 5 o'clock Eastern. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments like y'all always do. If you notice, I answer the comments or I have somebody else help me answer the comments too. Or you can text that number that you guys see. I'll put it in the chat again. Boom. Uh, that is it right there. Profile said create creating assets. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, what other business model out there? <laughs> what, what, what else can you do, y'all? You understand products? A lot of them get old, have a, a short life shelf. You understand what I'm talking about? But like assets and platforms, like they, they, they I mean, it takes forever for them to get old. MySpace was here forever before Facebook came along. Facebook is just now dying out. You understand what I'm saying? So my point is when you create assets, it, it gives you insurance. Once it pops off, it gives you insurance that you ain't got to worry or stress no more. So imagine having a, 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 a variety of assets that you own in some of the leading industries. 
based off of passions and stuff. These people are going to grow your platforms for you. You understand? When I give you guys access to my SMS platform, you're going to grow it on, on, on your own because if you have to do blasts to get clients, I don't have to tell you to use the platform. Like you're just going to use it because you have your own interest that you need it for. So this is the type of stuff I'm going to teach you how to build, like stuff where you don't have to, hey, hey, can, can you can you buy this or can you uh, <laughs> can you please use my platform? You ain't got to do that. If you if you are sending messages to SEO agencies or SMMA agencies and social media marketing agencies, and you tell them I have an email blasting software that is better than AWeber, and you can send unlimited bulk messages, and we're not going to charge you anything for that. And you only pay once a year. On top of that, it's going to come with client getting templates. Are you really going to have to sell that for real? Or are they going to automatically start dreaming and visualizing about how easy it would be to get clients with that? All you did was introduce them to the platform. Now they're going to go and grow it for you. Tell the other people that work with their agency and all of that. Get them bringing more people on the platform. This is the type of stuff that happens when you own the platforms or the assets. <sighs> okay, so uh, Gary says, do you have a YouTube about builder all? You mean, do I have like a tutorial, uh, tutorial showing how to use builder all? Um, they have... They have tutorials on the Builder All platform. Um, but like if you tell me what you need to know specifically, because they got a lot of stuff inside there. So if you tell me what you're interested in knowing specifically, then we'll go over it or I create a video on it. <laughs> Profile said, I thought you had AI answer the comments. Nope, not yet. <laughs> no, remember when I said it's certain things that I think humans would still be doing. You understand? Like relations is something that I think human humans should still do for now. So that's the only type of stuff I would pay somebody for. Like uh the you know relations stuff that can um you know I, you want your brand to still have a personality you don't want it to be cold and just you understand what i'm saying like it don't have to be you but it still has to be somebody with a conscience right now chat gpt is awesome but it doesn't have a conscience yet so it would be just like a glorified um facebook chat bot like back in the day who the hell is this calling me Hmm. That's a pain of mania number. I ain't answering it. Uh, he said, what do you use on that platform? I use the message uh, and Instagram automation tool, you know, where autoresponder, where remember, I just showed you guys. Hey, is some still cooking? Smell like some burning, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> I told y'all I'm, I'm real. Listen. All right. So. I use the autoresponder. So the tools and the apps and all of that stuff that we build, it'll do a lot of the outreach and stuff. But when people respond back to you, you want to make sure you have something that responds back to them automatically. So you don't have to go back in there at 8 p.m. later that night and just be going in there sending your booking calendar and all of that extra crap. Right. So I use that. Sometimes I use the builder, the website builder in there. I use the booking calendar. Uh, you can use the app builder in there to convert a website to an app. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we use in there. Um, v, we give VA access. Our VAs can go in there and build things and play around in there. Um, yeah, pretty much we utilize a lot of the tools, man. Um, Patty Pacifico said, hi, AJU. Finally made it to a live. I don't know what AJU means, even though I'm 36. I feel a little bit behind because since I came into the you know following the Bible and everything, I detached myself from the modern world and everything. The Bible says a friend of the world is an enemy of God. 
So I'm not really trying to, I don't watch bag, not bad girls, <laughs> love and hip hop and all of the extra bull crap that a lot of people get programmed with. Um, so I don't really know all the abbreviations of all this. Oh, so <laughs> she abbreviated, <laughs> she abbreviated the name of my freaking company, Anti-Job University. That's crazy. Wow. I didn't even know that because I never abbreviated it. Okay. Appreciate it, Patty. <laughs> appreciate it. So now I'm going to call it that, AJU, right? <laughs> That's funny, y'all. All right, so finally made it to a live. If I only would have found you sooner, I would have found success much sooner. It's all right, man. Look, God don't make mistakes. If Who's to say if you found me sooner, I would have been prepared to help you? What if I would have been in a bad place in my life? What if I, what if I was in a position to where I wouldn't be able to give advice? If you found me earlier, what if I led you astray? You can't trust any man. You understand what I'm talking about? So God introduces you or God brings you opportunities at the perfect time. You know, it might not seem like it at the time, but he doesn't make mistakes. It's going to play out exactly how he wants it to. That's the part of being, you know, a choreographer. Okay. Muhammad said, what's up, bro? What's up? Yep, everything happens for a reason. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, guys, I will sit on here and talk to y'all all night. You know, uh, as y'all can see, my voice is getting a little harsh, right? I don't know what's going on, man. But, um... <laughs> You know, I'm going to go She said, um, Muhammad said, do you think I have a chance? Listen, if you don't believe you do, then you don't. The scripture says, as a man thinketh, so is he. You understand? So if you believe that you can't make it, then you're not going to be able to put in the effort or the determination. You're not going to have the determination that it takes to actually make it. It doesn't matter what I think. I said earlier, I believe y'all could do all things through Christ that strengthens you. But if you don't believe that, <laughs> then it don't matter what I believe. I believe that I can give you the tools and I can give you the blueprint and you can even follow along. But if you don't really like really give it your all because you're afraid of it or you're skeptical of it, or whatever it is you're battling with, then it won't work. Then chances are you'll come back at me and say, man, this is a scam, dude. You said this would work. You said it didn't. Then I'll like investigate and find out you didn't really do it how I told you to. But you have to believe it yourself, right? Uh, but Patty says, yes, I know I had to fail. You are right. Well said. And I love you and include our father in the Bible. <laughs> I appreciate it, profile. Um, exactly, exactly, Patty. Yes, I gotta put the father in everything, man. If you don't, man, he gonna come get you, man. He will destroy everything you building just because you didn't give him the glory. Why you think all of those pagans be getting up there and saying, "I like to thank God first of all," knowing damn well they don't believe in him, but they just be trying to cover their butt, you know? What I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So profile said, go get what's left of dinner. Peace. All right, love. All love. Muhammad said, I have just been so unlucky in my life. It's all right, man. It's not about luck. It's about laws. And in the Bible, there are laws to success. So if you follow them, it's, it's, it has nothing to do with luck. The problem is we, we've been lost sheep without a shepherd. You don't know which way to go. That has nothing to do with luck. That means all you have to do is find a shepherd. And it's not me, it's the laws. The laws that I'm going to show you guys. Directory details says Jaren. All right, so come back tomorrow, 5 p.m., guys. Set your lawns right now. Do that. Fungal right now. Set your lawns right now, 5 p.m. Eastern. Lawrence, I'm not going to be 
Lars will, I'm not going to be late tomorrow. I was a couple minutes late today. And Lars will, Panama ain't going to cut the electricity out in the middle of the dang on stream, right? So 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we'll try to come back again and we'll go over directories and courses, okay? And I think I'll be able to show you my new, uh, the new software that I'm using for outreach uh, automation. It runs in the background while you're doing this and all of this extra stuff. This is what I'm trying to say. Make your life easier, y'all. Make your life easier. If a bot or AI or automation can do it, then use it. The alarm is set. The alarm is set. Yes. Patty says, it is only knowledge and laws and most of the people on YouTube that think that you think will teach you have no idea or are scamming. That's what I'm talking about. This is a trend right now. Even I'm riding this damn trend. But the problem is after that, what you got? Nobody has any proof. Nobody has any formulas. Nobody is really doing the stuff that they say they're doing. The stuff that they're teaching you. It's a few people. I'm not going to make it seem like I'm the only one that's the spirit of pride, right? But it's, it's so many people that aren't really doing what they're teaching you. So that's why I try to show you guys as much as I possibly can behind the scenes so that you'll know, like, I practice what I preach, all right? All right, love you guys. I feel like I got a dang on six pack. I've been laughing and yelling and stuff. My chest and stuff starting to hurt. All right, I right, love you guys. See you in the morning. I mean, see you tomorrow, 5 p.m., 5 p.m.